Okay, so we're going to take another look at cordage making here. And I have some yucca leaves here. And they're very similar to saw palmetto leaves in Florida. And I showed you cabbage palm leaves. You can use cabbage palm. They're not as strong as saw palmetto. But uh, around here, there's, there's the closest thing is yucca. And it, like I told you in some of my other videos, it's not something you're really going to be finding out in nature too much. And there's other things you can use around here to use this method I'm about to show you. Uh, you could use willow and beech and basswood and tulip poplar. Those are all trees that makes pretty good, uh, pretty good cordage. And like I explained in Florida, if you had to use the stem, the frond of that cabbage palm, you could use that as well and use this method. Um, so what you would do, so you get, there's three yucca leaves. Yeah, you can see they got nice fibers that grow in them. That's what this is right here. Okay. So, and I wanted to show this. That's why I have this here. This is a dead, old, dried out yucca leaf. And you can still use these. It's still strong. Okay. Still works just fine. I'm just going to break a strand off here and show you. Okay. It's pretty strong. That took quite a bit of force just to break that. And that's just one little strand okay so you still can use a dead piece here and I just wanted to show you that so it doesn't matter if it dries out or anything on you okay you see how that has them nice sections you can just tear off like that what you want to do is go through your yucca and you want to just start tearing little pieces off okay you actually want them even smaller than this just depending on how big cordage you want to make Okay, so I'm just going to tear a bunch of these off. I'm going to lay them right there. I'm going to get them as small as I can. And when you're done, you can go through and clean up some of the pieces and get the bigger hunks off and the pieces of plant, plant leaf on there that you want to remove. Okay, in just a couple minutes. I got about that much. Okay, that's one leaf right there. I still have this much more to go. Now, before we go into making it with the actual yucca, I want to point this out. You could do this with anything that makes cordage. Okay, rubber, um, any kind of rope. This is how your rope's made today. The same technique. They just use big machines. Okay, so I have just a little piece, of, I have a huge piece of paracord actually, and I'm just going to demonstrate real quick and show you what it looks like. Now when I do cordage with paracord, um, this is just to turn this into 550 to 1,000 pound paracord. Okay, it'll have a 1,000 pound breaking strength when I'm done with it. Okay, so you just want to twist this one this way, right here and get that started, and take your bottom one and just twist it this way. Alright, and then twist your top again. And then twist them over top of each other and you're going to be left with this little this little loop right here okay so then you're ready to start so what you're going to do is you're going to take your top piece twist it over bring your bottom piece over top or underneath that okay so we're going to twist bring this underneath okay twist bring it underneath and reposition your finger every time okay your thumb right here this thumb needs to grab out of that and hold it in place. Twist that top piece, bring that bottom piece right underneath it. Okay, and what you're doing is creating a reverse wrap. Alright, see how that just stays there now? Because they're each pulling on each other, which causes it to stay. So we just twist, and you can go pretty fast if you get going at this. Okay, so I just wanted to show you real quick before we get into the yucca that you can actually. You can turn paracord, any cord, bank line, whatever you got, you can make it stronger by just simply using the reverse wrap technique. Okay, and I want to show you this. This was paracord that I turned into a dog leash using that same technique. Okay. If you look here, you can see that. That same technique I used on this. Okay, here's the handle. And I just tied a little 
pitch knot in there to make the handle. But that whole thing, that whole thing there is all braided like this. And then I just attached it down here at the bottom. This is where I started. Okay, I started right here. And then just worked my way all the way down to that handle. And now I got a nice big strong paracord dog leash. Okay. So now we'll get into the yucca. Okay, so I have, I don't know, maybe 12 of those strands. And I just took my nail, you know, I got all the green stuff up in my nails now. This is also known as soap weed, this yucca here. And that's because it has a sudsy type feel to it. And when you strip these leaves, I take my nail on each one and I just quick strip it right off like that. And it gets all this stuff up under, and it gets all this up under your nails. And what that does is you can use it to actually clean your body. You can use it as soap. But, um... You don't necessarily need all that in your cordage, it's just kind of, it's actually sticky, so when you get all that exposed and you rip all that off, it leaves a sticky film on here, which is going to help your cordage stay together real tight. So what you want to do is you want to find, you want to find center, okay? So right there is center for me. And you got two pieces like so, okay? You have this strand on top, this strand on bottom. All right, now what you want to do is you want to take this and start to twist it until you get a kink in the line, okay? Okay, and you see that little loop I got there, just like I showed you on the paracord, you just make almost like a little loop. And that's what's going to start you off. And then just kind of cinch it down real good, give it a good twist. Just like that. And that's going to start you off. Now place your thumb right on that loop. The loop is right underneath my thumb right there. Okay, so then we're going to take this top piece right here. Okay, we got them all separated. And the reason I'm showing you from this angle is so you see the actual, if I show you from the front, then you're going to see what's reverse of what I'm showing you. So I'll show you from this angle so you can actually see the correct method. See, you'll see what I see, basically. So what you want to do is I want to turn this top one away from me. And I'm going to use these fingers here to grab this piece here. And I'm going to bring it underneath and I'm going to twist it just like that okay and I reposition my thumb each time I pull my thumb on top of that piece okay so I'm gonna try to get up here real close okay so I'm gonna take my top piece here right here turn this away from my body and I'm gonna grab with my bottom three fingers here I'm gonna grab this bottom bail and I'm gonna twist it this way okay you're always going opposite okay so away here. Grab this top bail. Away and under. Away from me, towards me. Okay. And once you get this this method down, it's actually quite easy to make cordage. You can make quite a bit of it. Yeah, it takes time and your thumb muscles going to have to get used to it. But it's a good skill to learn and once you learn it it's just like riding a bike you just do it Okay. see how fast I can get going here you can see that's turning my fingers green I don't know if you can see that that's all that yucca juice just coming out of them leaves okay within that little bit of time I made that little piece of cordage right there okay that took all two seconds so once you get that far, you want to check, and once you get halfway through that, you want to add more in there. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you one more time here. Take this top piece, twist it away from your body. Take this, take your bottom, take these three fingers, reach underneath there, grab this, twist it towards you. Okay. Top piece away from you. 
bottom towards you. Okay? Just like that. Give you a close up view of this. Okay, my fingers are holding on to that where that twist is happening. This thumb here is. This is doing all the work. Way. Top piece. Three fingers grabbing this. And it's gonna twist it all towards me. Okay? You see where my finger is in between there? Okay, that's where it always ends up, and then I grab here. And that keeps them separated. Away. Towards. Away. Towards. This is away. Towards me. Okay, so then once I get that, that method down, I can just fly through this. Okay, and this is going to make you some really strong cordage. Whether you're using yucca or saw palmetto leaves in Florida, or any other type of material, this is just doubling the strength each time you do this. Okay, so you notice that I'm getting, I'm getting down there a ways. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab some more. Okay, you're going to find center. You're going to go ahead and open your finger up, and you're going to place that right in there. So the top piece can go to the top, bottom piece can go to the bottom. Okay. So now you just add it, now you can keep going. And that'll just bind that in there. And you don't want to do that right at the end because it won't give you a strong enough hold. So then we just continue the process that we started. And you don't want to add too much because then it'll make your cordage too thick. You'll have all kinds of different thicknesses. You just want to add a few pieces at a time. Just keep working that cordage as you go. Okay, so now that's in there good and tight. It's not going to come out. And you just got to keep doing this process over and over again until you get the piece of cordage you want. There you add some more, same thing. We're just going to find our center, place it in there, pinch that, get it all worked in together nice and, nice and neat. Okay, we're just going to keep going with our process. Now this here is, that I'm making is actually pretty thick for cordage with this. You can go a lot thinner. You can do just a couple strands. Start with that. Just depending on the task at hand. You know, are you holding up just something small on your shelter? Or are you lashing together a boat or a raft? Something you need some strong cordage with. Okay, and you can see that's where we're at right now. Okay, that didn't take me that long at all. It only took one and a half yucca leaves. Okay, yucca has plenty of leaves on it for you to use. Alright. Okay, so we made ourselves a little piece of rope here. Didn't take too long at all. That time lapse was about five minutes. Okay. Okay, and then when we're done, you can take and tie a knot in it like this, just a little half hitch. And that's going to keep it together. Or you could take a little more down. Make yourself a loop like so. Okay, just like regular rope. Okay, and then you could come through it like this, make a necklace. I've made bracelets and necklaces and stuff out of cordage like this, and uh, just for fun. And it's pretty cool. Um, and that's all it takes. It really ain't much. It's just a lot of work, 
Um, you're going to have sore spots in your thumb right here you're going to have to work on, so that's why it's good to practice, and then it's easy peasy for you. You develop these muscles because a lot of people don't really use that muscle right there. You know, because it's when you're pinching here and twisting all the time, this muscle right there is going to get tender. Just like with a hand drill, you don't really use that muscles, it's kind of difficult to make a hand drill. Okay, here's a nice close-up look of what that braid looks like. Okay, look familiar? Look like some rope that you've seen at the store and stuff before? This is different than the one I showed you in Florida, that was more like a braid. Okay, you can braid line just like you would, like I said, your sister's hair. Okay, this here is just a reverse wrap where you're just using two strands instead of three. Okay, and you could turn this into four ply cordage by doing this all over again. You just have to work the opposite. Instead of turning that top one away from you and the bottom one towards you, you would do the opposite. You would turn the top one towards you and the bottom way, bottom one away from you. We come up here and we look at the paracord here. Same thing. I did the same thing that I just did with that right there. The good thing it was a paracord, it's already there for you, you just gotta reverse wrap it. Okay, this thing ain't ever gonna come undone. Okay, real quick, like I said, you can turn this into four ply. And if you wanna make, if you know you're gonna make four ply cordage, you don't wanna make it super thick at first. You can see, like I told you, this was kinda thick because I wanted to really give you a good idea of what it's gonna look like. But you could take this. Now I'm going to take this and kink it just like I did the first one. You're just basically making a loop is all you're doing. You're just going to turn this until it loops over on itself like that. And that just gives you a starting position. Okay. Okay, you're just going to take it. See how it turns over on itself? That's all you're doing. Okay, so once you get that, make sure everything's good and tight. Okay, now instead of turning the top one away from me and grabbing the bottom one we have to go the opposite alright so I'm gonna turn the top one towards me keeping this one here top one towards me and then I'm gonna take my thumb right here and I'm gonna flip that and twist it like so away from me okay so you're just doing the opposite so now take that top one towards me towards me bottom with the thumb away reposition our thumb now that's tricky at first you gotta just get used to it okay top one towards me using the thumb twisting that one away from me okay top one towards me using my thumb away from me okay so we just repeat that process towards me away from me towards me away from me. Just keep repositioning your thumb and it gets trickier the bigger you get. You know, you can see I'm fiddling around here towards me, away from me. Top one, towards me, away from me. Now you can see, now you can see right there what I did is I just took all that and I just braided all that together now. Okay, it just created, it's kind of hard to see because it's plant fiber, but like right here you can see the there's our old rope. Now we have a new braid going on here. See that right there? You just basically turned this into this. Okay, so now it's even stronger. I couldn't break this one. There's no way I could break that. That can hold quite a bit of weight. That would be four ply cordage. Okay, you just turn two into four. Okay, I'm just grabbing these real quick to just recap to make sure you guys saw everything. Okay, when we start out with our cordage, we take this, and we just want to kink it until it gives you that little tiny loop. Okay, see that little loop? You just twist it until it loops. That's all you do. You don't have to get super picky with it and, well, my loop's not good enough or whatever. That's all you got to do. That's just going to get you started. Okay, now remember, when we start out, we start with the top, twist away, three fingers here are grabbing that and then we twist it towards us top away towards away towards okay okay so here's that little thing I just showed you just to recap okay I just whipped it into this little thing real quick okay and I want to recap real quick find center 
Now we're going to four ply. If I were to take and do the same thing where I twist away from me and grab the bottom, watch what it does. I just undo the braid that I made. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So what we want to do is take this top one now. We're going to go towards us until it kinks, like so. And there's our little loop. So all we do is just turn it until we get a loop. Okay, so now we're going to take this top one. We're going to go towards us using our thumb. Okay towards us, use our thumb, away, okay, towards, use our thumb, twist away, okay, just remember, reposition this, this thumb here every time to grab hold of that, so we're going towards us, using our thumb, grabbing, away, okay, and that's all we got to do, so then what we've done is we've just taken that and made it a little bit stronger. If we wanted to make cordage quicker, and it didn't necessarily have to be as strong, we just needed a lot of cordage, but not necessarily as strong or doesn't have to look as neat, there is a way to do that as well. Okay, so we have our pile here. What we're going to do is get our kink going here. I'm just going to get a nice little wrap going there like so. And I'm going to take and I'm going to put my middle finger on top of that little kink we made right there and I'm going to put my pointer finger in between these two strands. I take these like this, I got my finger separating the two. I just want to take and I want to roll them like this. Okay. Now, do you see that, what that did? Okay, so I'm just taking those, see how I just rolled them all up together? Okay, I'll show you again. Remember, I have my finger, my index finger, separating those two. Take my hand. I like to use this part of my hand right here. Okay, if you go flat, it just seems to not work as well. Straight here, and I go on a, kind of on an angle. And I just rub, just moving my other hand with it. I've got that all wrapped up. Come back here. Get my finger back in between these two. I'm going to take it just like that. Okay, separate them. What you want to do is just go ahead and you don't want them to twist together. Not that way. Okay, you're going to roll it. If you have to do it a couple times, that's fine. Okay, and then you're going to take this hand. You're just going to twist it all the way to where your hand is. Okay, put that down. Pull this out a little bit. And that's just to keep everything nice and tight. Separate the two. Roll it a couple times. Get it nice and tight. Twist it. Okay, that's how I like to do it. Now notice that I'm pushing away and I'm turning away because in all reality that's the opposite of each other and you can see that it's braiding that's what you want you want to make sure that it's braiding and that it's holding okay so we need to add some so we go ahead and tuck that up in there like that just like we did on the other cordage okay we added some now we got this much more to go Got my finger in between the two. Got these all separated. Okay, now I'm going to put my hand here and start rolling these up. That's okay, just come back and do it a couple times to get everything good and tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to twist. Okay, and you want to just twist all the way until your hand there because that's all that you twisted away from you. And then you'll have a little bit of a triangle right here. Can you see that? Right there. Put your finger in that. Pull it back nice and tight on everything. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Give it a couple good twists. Roll this up. Finger in. A couple good twists. Roll it up. Finger in. 
couple good twists like so. Roll it up. Get your finger in there. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm pushing away from me. Okay. Got my finger in here, and then I'm taking my finger, my index finger, and my thumb, and I'm twisting away from me. Now that seems to go against what you're doing, but what it's doing is it's twisting these like this, almost like it's going towards me. But I'm pushing away, but it's twisting these fibers like this. Okay, it's wrapping them like this, and then I'm taking my fingers. Okay, let me get my position back here. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm pushing away and it's wrapping them up. And then what I'm doing is just twisting just like this, this way, away from me. Okay? And that gives us that same reverse wrap. Okay? So just like this. Boom. Twist it up. Reposition. You just want to, at all times, you want to be holding this thing down. So I'm going to tie this off real quick. Okay? It's not as pretty. It's got a little straggler right there. Okay, this cordage is not as pretty. It's not as tight as the other one. But it took me less time to make. Okay, and less work too. You know, this isn't going to hurt your that muscle I showed you in your thumb. This is just a quick way to whip it up real quick. You can see you'll have a couple little stragglers like that. Okay. But it works you can see where I went from a little bit smaller this is where I connected right here this is where I added some you can see that it got a little bit thicker that's alright it doesn't really matter just as long as you got the cord you need okay but now I have something I could you know tie something up with I'll show you I'll put a knot in this okay you can put a knot in it we can take this like this and tie ourselves a loop in it Okay. So now we have a little loop we could use. Okay. We got cordage. Alright. That's what matters. If you need to make cordage quick, that's the way to do it. As long as it doesn't have to be super strong. Okay. This definitely is not as strong and as properly weaved as doing it the other way. But it works. Okay. So there you have it. There's some cordage for you. A couple different looks at how to make it. Definitely some materials out there to use. Just like use those trees I mentioned you can use plants like milk like thistle and uh, that milkweed I showed you in Michigan you can use that or you could use sinew from deer which is just the tendons all smashed up and or the guts you can use all that sinew is probably the strongest cordage you can get when it comes to nature but there you have it